Six years ago, marine biologists became alarmed at reports of massive fish kills on the rivers in this region. Every year, smallmouth bass were being decimated by some mysterious problem. Spring and fall, hundreds of fish would be found floating in the water, belly up. So you see this I caught up with Vicki right Blazer, mm -hmm. a fish pathologist with the U.S. Geological yeah, Survey, who was trying to figure out why the fish were dying. What do we got here? So here we have this large discolored area in the yeah. liver. Yeah. And then you see all these little white spots. Here's another totally discolored area. And that's a signal of some, some bigger problem. Yes, when we see a really high prevalence in a population, that indicates there's some problem going on in that water. And when Blazer dug deeper, she found a surprise. One of the major and most interesting findings was intersex in the male bass. When we look at the male gonads or testes, what we find is immature eggs within the male testes. So you got sort of feminization of male fish. Is that a big alarming finding in marine biology, aquatic biology? Yes, and that has certainly attracted a lot of concern and attention. Scientific studies have linked abnormal mutations in marine creatures, like intersex, to exposure to chemical compounds that mimic or imitate natural hormones in the body. These chemicals are called endocrine disruptors. Endocrine disruptors are very, very potent chemicals at infinitesimally small quantification. I mean, you're talking about parts per million or parts per billion. They interrupt the normal way in which the body controls everything from growth and development to thyroid function to reproductive function to estrogen levels, testosterone levels. So they're very, very important and they are a, a deep concern because there's so many of them now. There are thousands of these worrisome chemicals that have gotten into the environment. And one reason is that they're part of everything we do. The list of things that bring these organic pollutants into our bodies is a long list. And it ranges from home care products, soaps, toothpaste, cleaning agents in the household, to things we put on our lawns, the things that we use all the time. The plastic industry, the rubber industry, uh, lubricants, fuels, uh, the highways. When you see scientists like Vicki Blazer cutting open fish, finding intersex, uh, in the male fish, seeing high levels of fish kills, seeing immune systems disrupted, seeing other damage to the fish. Is that a warning to you, potentially, about human health? Oh, absolutely. Uh, the warning, not, not just from the smallmouth bass in the Potomac, but uh, from amphibians all across the country. You have frogs with six legs, hermaphroditic frogs, uh, male frogs with ovaries, female frogs with male uh, genitalia. These are the canaries, the modern canary in the mine, that we haven't been playing, uh, paying enough attention to. Poisoned Waters. Watch online or on air beginning April 21st.